five things to do before you buy a hair system. Beginner's guide. So if you're on the fence and you're thinking about buying a hair system, here's five things that I'd encourage you to do before you actually buy a hair system. So number one, go on YouTube, check out some YouTube influencers, hair system wearers, people who have been there and done it, and it'll be able to give you some insight into what it's like to wear a hair system. They'll answer any questions you might have. There's so many videos out there. You know, you've got me, you've got Hair by MHE, he's called Curtis. You've got Chris L, you've got Spartan V, you've got Jake Ken, all of these kind of people. Very, very helpful, very knowledgeable. Watch their videos. When I first started wearing a hair system, guys, I didn't actually, there were no YouTube influencers, no hair system wearers on YouTube out there. So I just kind of had to make up as I went along. I had to learn on the job. Whereas now we have so many resources, especially on YouTube, that you can go and you can check it out and you can learn as much as you need to know. There's so much information out there, guys. So I'd really encourage you to subscribe to all of those videos that I mentioned. If I get time, I'll whack their URLs down in the description box below because they are super, super helpful and it can really help get your foot in the door as a first port of call in terms of getting a hair system. So number two, you need to ask yourself, would I prefer to start with a hair system salon or am I just gonna dive straight in like I did and just go straight with the DIY approach? So that's literally ordering your systems, ordering the supplies, sorting out a stylist who can cut the hair system for you. Would you rather do that? Obviously it's a lot cheaper to do that. It's harder in the early stages, but you're gonna to have to learn all of this stuff anyway eventually, so you might as well learn it at the start. That's my approach to it, it always has been, and it's served me really, really well in the long term. However, salons do have their place, and if you don't feel like you're ready to take the DIY approach right now, it's totally understandable if you wanna take the salon approach. There's plenty of hair system salons out there. I'd just encourage you to make sure that you do your research and make sure you're not going to a place that is gonna completely rip you off. I've seen salons out there that charge over a thousand pounds, about $1,500 American, just for a system alone. That in itself is insanity. I would never even consider paying that myself, even if it was through a salon. I think max I'd consider paying through a salon for a hair system is about 800 pounds. I understand it's more because they have their own stylist, they have to pay their bills, they probably have rent to pay on the building that they're hiring out and they have to pay staff. So you will have to pay more. And yes, you will find it a lot easier if you use a salon straight up. However, as I said earlier on, you're gonna have to learn to DIY it yourself eventually, especially if you're working on a budget and you don't wanna be spending five, six, seven thousand pounds a year just on a hair system. So this is a really important, this is a really important one to consider actually, really, really important. Obviously cost will come into it. I'm gonna talk about cost a bit later as well, but do I want to start doing this myself with all of the resources that I have on YouTube at my disposal. Guys, there's so, so many videos. I've done a ton. I'm gonna put a playlist up on the cards right now. It should appear at the top of the screen. Playlist basically showing you how to reapply a system, to pull a system off, you know, gluing, taping, cutting your own hair, that kind of stuff. All of that is available on that particular playlist. There's a whole load of other videos on YouTube which do similar, which show similar things. So I would encourage you to do that. But of course, if you wanna start with a salon, that's your prerogative, whatever you feel that you can be most comfortable with. Number three, make a decision on what base you want to have for your first system. Now there are the most, the two most common and most popular are poly bases, which is polyurethane, like a plastic membrane, or lace. Okay, so those are the two most common. There's a few others which I wouldn't really concern yourself with right now because they're not really appropriate for first time or newbie wearers. You just wanna be thinking poly or lace. 
Obviously, in many videos that I've done before, I've explained the, the pros and cons of both of these. I always say, in my personal opinion, the, the best one to start with is a poly perimeter with a lace front, because then you get, with a lace, you get a bit of a nat you get a decent natural appearance at the front, especially if the knots are bleached. Um, that's basically when uh, there's bleach that's put on the knots at the bottom, so it makes it look as if it's actually coming out of your skin. So that is what I usually recommend if people come to me, but it's totally up to you. Do you prioritize comfort over realism, or do you pr prioritize realism over comfort? You're, you're likely to get a more realistic look with a lace, so like a French lace or a Swiss, but you're more likely to get comfort from a poly. It's less likely to be itchy. Do you prioritize longevity over ease of reapplication? So you might find that a thicker lace will actually last a longer period of time than a really thin or what's known as an ultra thin poly. So you need to think about those kind of questions. For me, whenever someone approaches me and says, Adam, I'm thinking about getting a hair system, but I've no idea what to start with. I usually recommend they go for a poly perimeter, um, well, a poly perimeter and, and a poly in the middle, and then a sort of lace at the front, because then you get the realism, but you also get a decent, a, a decent amount of durability. It's pretty easy to clean up. You can basically mess it up quite a few times without damaging the system. With an ultra thin skin, it's very, very easy to damage the system, even if you've been wearing for like years. I damaged one of my systems, it was an ultra thin skin uh, a couple of weeks ago and I've been wearing for five years, so it just shows that even people who are long-term wearers, they can still make little mistakes and end up with holes in a system or whatever. So you wanna go with something which is more durable. So a poly base for me and a lace, I don't know why I'm struggling there, and a lace frontal. So it's known as a hybrid system, okay? Number four, make sure you're able to source the right supplies. Supplies are so important, guys, when it comes to hair systems, because even if you do go to a salon, you're still gonna need to touch up your frontal if it, if it lifts or something like that. So you're gonna need glue or tape or whatever. I have a bare minimum, I always have one tape, one glue, uh, one adhesive remover and one scalp protector. At a bare minimum, that's what I have. So you need to make sure, I, in fact, I'd, I'd recommend, I'd strongly recommend that you have at least those four things. A scalp protector stops the glue from sort of irritating the scalp. The glue and tape obviously holds the system down and the adhesive remover actually removes the glue or the tape when you need to take the system off. I'm gonna be taking mine off later actually because I need to clean this. I've had it on for two weeks. So you need to make sure that you can source those. Amazon is a great place. I always recommend Ghost Bond. It's a fantastic glue for me, but it may not work for you. You're gonna need to try these things out. It's very, very important that you're patient with this process, guys, because it's unlikely that you're gonna find a glue and a tape that is immediately the most comfortable fit for you. It took me about two years to really nail down the perfect tape for me and the perfect glue. But I kind of looked at it as an experiment. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna try this out. I'm not gonna put any expectations on it because I know that I'm gonna find one that works perfectly for me. So patience is key here, guys. And don't be hard on yourself. Please don't be hard on yourself. Just make sure that you've got a decent amount of patience, try out pretty much everything you find. There's a few that, you know, more people wear, like you've got the Walker, the Walker tape, the brand of Walker tape, which is pretty, pretty common. I'd say most people wear that, but it might not work for you. There are other brands like True Tape, um, but yeah, eBay, Amazon are two of the places which I always purchase my supplies from. There's also Holistique in the UK. I don't think they ship outside of the UK, unfortunately, but I'm sure there's an American counterpart which does a similar thing. It used to be Hair Direct, but that went bust, but I'm sure there are other companies out there that sell these sort of things. So if you're in the States, please do do a bit of Googling and find if Amazon or eBay doesn't have what you like, please do search on Google hair system glue, um, adhesive remover, hair system tape, that kind of thing. Super, super important. A last point on this is if you're really not sure where to start with the brand of supply or anything like that, check YouTube, 
type in you know ghost bond review for instance and i'm sure there'll be a ton of reviews that you can find that basically review ghost bond glue or walker tape or anything like that also if you've decided on a hair system supplier that you want to use email them a lot of them are actually really helpful when it comes to customer service so i use levivid personally and they always get back to me within 20 to 48 hours without fail whatever question i've got and there are other suppliers out there who are also very good when it comes to customer service. At the end of the day, they want to help you, okay? So that is definitely worth considering. And number five, cost, okay? This is an ongoing commitment, guys. Cost is really important, so you need to make sure that you can budget for this, okay? And I always recommend every four months setting aside three to $400, and this should cover you, if you're doing the DIY approach, this could cover you for your hair system, which should be lasting sort of three to four months, your supplies, and also your cut-ins, okay? So that should cover you. Maybe you could sort of have a little bit of wiggle room either way, but as a rough estimate, that's roughly how much I spend in a four-month period ongoingly, so that's a good place to start. I hope you beginners found that really helpful, guys. If you've got any more questions, please do pop it in the comments box below. I read all of the comments and I do my utmost to reply to every single one. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you are liking my content, if you're new to this content, please do hit the subscribe button. If you've liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. I'd love to get to 50 likes for this video. I do have a discount code as well. If you are a beginner looking to get a system, Adam15 on levividhair.com. It will be in the description box below. I'll see you next time, guys. Take care.